Hello YouTubers, this is a Flying Ross. This game's already been going on. I'm flying in the uh, P-39 N-0. It has 50 cals, it has 7.7 millimeter, and then also the 37 millimeter cannon. I um, already have two kills going into this, and as you can see, we have, it looks like one, two, three, four uh, aircraft uh, still uh, available. Um, he has one death, but that might be, he doesn't have an air, you know, a shoot. So he's still in the air. Uh, one's an IL-2, and uh, we just saw that. Um, so this could be the greatest comeback ever. Well, maybe not ever, but I mean, with two air kills by myself, um, and possibly four aircraft to destroy. The IL-2 will be w the easiest one. I might save him for last. The uh, reason why he's easy is be just because of the pure size of my weapon. Um, versus his. So Soros is in uh, an IL-2. He's still dangerous, don't get me wrong. But, nonetheless. Can be easier than the others. So, bear with me. You can probably forward um, probably about uh, fast forward about f maybe three minutes um, from now. Um, I might finally get and see some action. Um, as we definitely are going to climb and try to gain altitude advantage again. Kind of scanning the horizon here. Trying to see where they are. The IL-2 is obviously low killing ground targets. Not necessarily worried about him. Oh, well, there's the IL-2. We might go after him anyways just because he's out here. But again, that could be really bad bait right now. Yep. And just as I suspected, they are high. LA-5 is in front of me. Uh, in front to my left. And if I just took that bait, I would have definitely have lost. Right now, this is going to more than likely turn into a head-on situation. I don't know if he sees me. Yeah, he does. Comet flaps to turn over real fast. Here, I'm going to want to aim. Oh, he's going right past me. Okay. Nose over. Oh, come on. Okay, get out, get away, get away, get away. Can't follow him too much. Got this Yak 9 to worry about. He is smoking a little bit there. In a little steep climb, trying to cl turn in this airspeed from that climb back into vertical altitude uh, to come back at this Yak-9. Uh, the Yak-9 will have the ability to outturn me in this aircraft. As you can see, the LA-5 did not. Um, I think he actually does have the ability to. It just might be the pilot. Um, so I don't know how much I actually caused damage-wise and everything. Interesting. So he was able to go into the vertical. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
So he was able to go vertical on me and turn behind me. Don't know how I feel about that. And I'm fucking just getting myself in trouble here. Don't know why he's firing from 1.4 out. That's retarded. I am going to use the air airfield, airfield trick right now. Sorry, mouth uh, word vomit, mouth vomit. He's going high. But honestly, if I don't do this right now, there's just no way. Oh, I got a hit. He didn't. He has a finite amount of uh, rounds, and you just use some of them to... Oh, that's some bullshit. I just saw a 37 millimeter hit him. Oh, he goes down. Okay. Okay, we have no targets in sight, so we're going to take this time to rearm. as we desperately need to be full in ammo with their most powerful weapon, the 37mm. Not to mention the 50 cals definitely help. And any damage that we sustained... using inertia from the rounds to stomp us. We will be off this because we shouldn't have to have any repairs, so we should be about like around 6 or 7 seconds. Uh, nine seconds. So, for about the next minute, we'll be perilously freaking in jeopardy. Ah, uh, well, we just lost another aircraft. Okay, so there's only one... Soros died as well? Interesting. Or he might have just landed and jade out. I didn't hit him. So it looks like that, I think it's that MiG, or I think it's a MiG or a lag. I think it's MiG. The MiG-3 is left. It did look like he, w I hurt him enough that he did go back to base. Now I don't know how long I was fighting there. Kind of weird how freaking Soros was left. I, don't know, I guess he got shot down. I am going to take the time to get the gain the altitude back. But I think I'm just going to aim straight at their base.
I usually don't like aiming straight at the base, I usually climb away, but... But I definitely want to have it out seed. Don't want to be in the position where I have altitude disadvantage. Because that would not be a fun way to end this game. You know, with me and the uh, Bill Fighter, the only two people that actually have airplane kills, so three and two, that does not add up to all the other ones that are dead. <laughs> to the 10 degrees here. Of course, still gaining altitude, but hopefully gaining or getting closer to him. Searching for black dots moving. Sorry for the lack of commentary right now as I'm trying to concentrate. Pretty much over his airfield now. now. I really don't want to have his AAA fire me because if he's paying attention, that will give me away. This is when your eyes start playing tricks with you and where the dots are. It's like, oh no, there's a dot there. This is where the hide and go seek will start. Definitely think I'm going to level this off at 6,000, though. The P-39 is, is absolutely horrible in a dive. You can maintain, actually, a straight level flight. Um, you can actually get up to, like, over 700 kph in this. All right, in, in IS, you know, in, in indicated airspeed, you can get 700 kph. Um, but if you do any kind of maneuver, you're going to break your wings. So, yeah, straight, uh, straight? yes. But
the clouds sometimes make it easier to spot. Not when you're zoomed in like this, but if you're out like this, sometimes the clouds do make it easier to spot. Not always. I wish someone could be like on a stream and be like, hey, he's right there, asshole. Idiot. Can't you see him? I'm really just waiting for him to destroy something. Oh, this could be long and boring. Oh, I don't know even know what to do right now. I'm searching the best I can. I don't know why I'm decreasing altitude, but... You need to do something. As you can see, I'm about to break that 700 right there. Just gave up 3,000 meters of altitude. banking on that freaking somewhere around here. I mean, if I was him, I would be around the airport. But... I have a lucky triple A shot took me out. Oh, and this is also the downfall of Russians, is I'm playing with Russians on a Russian server and they're talking in some crazy fucking language. I can't even tell them freaking to come out. And these guys server us you know, I don't I guess they're freaking together? I don't know. I would have backed out by now. I mean, he's been dead for quite some time. Oh, is that him? Oh, that's him. 
Oh, he has freaking huge altitude range. Where did he go? Oh, I missed him. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh man, he's high. Well, see, now I found him. Now I just need to get to his altitude. <laughs> just follow his dot. He only has one kill, but that really doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it looks like we're at s almost similar altitudes, but from the distance, he's probably closer to, I would say, almost seven or maybe even eight thousand. Ah, don't lose him. No. There he is. Eh. The only good thing is I am definitely in a P-39, and if we want to do a head-on, which oh, sadly more than likely it's going to come to, I have, eh, maybe not a greater chance, but I definitely have a pretty good heavy machine. So there we go, LE-5. Now, LE-5 has a uh, good amount of cannons. Not good at ammo capacity, though. So I don't know if he's trying to pass me by. Yeah, he is. Bastard. Oh, uh, get vertical, get vertical, get vertical. I'm good. Nope, nope. Turn, 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 turn. Now he's better energy right now. LE5 is definitely an energy fighter. Good energy retentions. Barely missed death there. But, as you can see, a couple more passes here. And now he is being hunted. He just doesn't know his own aircraft. That's a problem. Watch the airspeed. Kind of actually just talking to you guys now. Okay. Let him go behind. Turn around. Watch the G's. Watch the G's. Whew. Oh, yeah. Slow down. And tail's done. And that's it, folks. Right there is now put me into a commanding lead. Now it's just not doing anything stupid like breaking off someone's wings. <coughs> cough, cough. Flying Ross. And boom. 
And that's a freaking amazing comeback. Uh, I don't know how the other guys died, but I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy I stuck through. Did not become an ace in the day, but um, hopefully the video was not too long for you guys. This is freaking 19 minutes left in a 60 minute game. Um, but it shows us patience can pay off. A amazing aircraft as long as you know what it's what it can do and what it cannot do. Um, I b probably definitely made mistakes there. Battle Trophy 7500. Um, but hey, overall, good, good uh, game. And as this loads up here, we'll see. Uh, we have four, uh, four critical hits, four aircraft kills, 27 total hits. Um, let's see. Uh, challenge complete 10 uh, task. Oh, I think we actually did we get it? I don't know. Uh, final blow, fighter, bulletproof, battle trophies, balancer. Okay. Let's see. Um, 7,200 lions with uh, uh, vehicle research. Yeah. Okay. Now, did we actually get the aircraft? Or I swear to God, I've done this freaking like 20 times now. Let's just real quick uh, here achievements this winter freaking special. I don't have no idea how to keep track of. So I did levels one and two there, one and two there, one and two there. So two, four, six, eight, um, ten. So what in the f? I am confused on how many I need to do. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, more videos to come. As always, fly safe.